The weather tops our news at this hour. All the rain we've seen so far today causing flood damage and emergencies across the state. As a result of this storm, Steuben County did issue a state of emergency with orders for evacuation right for the south side of the village of Addison as well as travel restrictions there. We're told by officials there is flooding that has damaged property there and all residents that were downstream were told to head to higher ground immediately. We do have team coverage for you. We have a crew in Steuben County and another crew in Ontario County. We're going to begin with Gio Battaglia who joins us from Steuben with the latest there. Gio. Adam, Teresa, good evening. I just spoke with one of those residents who said that the damage that has been sustained in Steuben County today is remarkable and has caused, you know, that significant damage. We want to show you some water still running through. We are on um, State Route 36 in the town, which is currently closed down. Police and emergency rescue vehicles have been driving up and down the area, which is closed down all the way down to the town of Woodhull, about a 16 mile stretch. Drone footage sent into us earlier showed massive flooding in parts of Steuben County, posing a risk to folks in the area. I just spoke with a resident moments ago who says this area is home to a lot of farmers, including her brother. He was at his farm, which is along this closed off area and is now destroyed. She also described what she saw when a Jeep had a tree through it from the driver's seat and out the passenger seat. She did not see anyone in the car, but that was just her um, encounter there. Um, crews on our drive also confirmed a house was floating a lot excuse me, along those floods. Um, we will continue to keep you posted as we learn more from residents and as crews continue to um, you know, assess the damage here. Again, that 16 mile stretch all the way down to the town of Woodhall. Reporting from Steuben County, Gio Pataglia, News 8, Adam Teresa, back to you. Wow, Gio, thank you so much. So often we see the flooding from the ground, sure. but that vantage point yeah. just shows how expansive the flooding was in that specific area. Yeah, that's something that Chief Meteorologist Eric Snyder has been talking about mm -hmm. since yesterday. Actually, Eric, for quite a while now, several days, you've been telling us that this could be what we're seeing on the ground there. Yeah, and frankly, in this part of the world here, it's not that uncommon to be dealing with flooding like this when you get these prior tropical systems that make their way closer to us. In this part of the world, it doesn't take much rainfall to be able to generate some flash flooding here. So we'll start with that housekeeping. We still have multiple flash flood and what we call aerial flood warnings. The difference, flash flood, those things kind of happen pretty quickly. Aerial flood warning is mainly for rivers and streams and creek rises that can hold tight a little bit longer. The core, however, of what will ultimately be the biggest issues out of this, heavy rain, spin-up tornadoes, gusty winds, you could see now pushing east of Watertown. That will continue to track away from us. So we're now in the wraparound phase of this with drier air and less overall lift. That means the showers that we've got will be pretty light overall. They're not going to last that long. Very hit and miss as they work their way through the area, including though at this hour parts of the Finger Lakes. Now we don't need any more rainfall here. Again, the nice thing is it won't amount to a whole lot more where you see near Naples, especially just off to the east. We've had radar estimated rainfall totals approaching four inches of fresh rain out of this. This is why. We've got meteorologist Liam Healy, who is live in the Naples area. Liam, how are you uh, seeing things now? Naples area, Liam, how are you uh, seeing things now? Well, you know, we've moved a little bit. We were just south of downtown earlier when we were in the four o'clock show. If you guys tuned in, then we moved into downtown proper now. And really, the big thing here is life is very much returned to normal for many folks around here. There's not really too many issues that are lingering. There is some debris in some of the roads occasionally if you drive around enough here in Naples. But the big story is that mostly Naples Creek has receded back into its banks and the roads are no longer flooded. Some areas that did have some water over them, I know at least last check, 245 was still closed out here. But we did have a chance to speak with the fire chief here at the Maxwell Hose Company. That's going to be right here on the corner of South Main Street and Vine Street, if you're familiar with the Naples area. And they said, for the most part, this wasn't too bad compared to other systems that they've dealt with in the past that have even flooded the school. We only had a total of six calls. Um, which is not uncommon in this area for this time of year. You know, we're in a valley surrounded by hills and, you know, a large body of water. So it's not uncommon for a heavy rain for us to be out pumping basements. For us to be out pumping basements. 
And for the most part there, that's all they've been doing. Just as we finish up talking to them, someone rolled right up into the driveway here and said, I've got water in my basement. They went up to go check it out, and I just saw the truck roll out, likely to go head out to that basement itself to start pumping it out. And that's really been the big story here. But, of course, just south, you saw with Geo, uh, just south of where we are into Steuben County, it's a much different story. And that's really a lot of what we've been talking about the past few days. It was going to be a lot of give or take with this rainfall and you're seeing that dynamic here between Naples and just to our south into parts of Steuben County which have been dealing with much much more significant flooding but for now that's how things are looking here in Naples it's starting to rain here again hopefully not adding too much into what's already on the ground and in the creeks here but we'll toss things back into the studio where you guys are a little bit drier than I am. Liam, thank you. Reporting there live from downtown Naples. Shortly after 3 this afternoon, Governor Kathy Hochul declared an emergency for the entire state due to the severe flooding, deploying swift water rescue teams as other crews stand by to assist with debris removal, road closures, and other flood-related issues. We will continue to keep you updated on the latest weather conditions both on air and on our website at rochesterfirst.com.